And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be playing a game called Click to 10. I know it sounds simple, but the reviews are the reviews are in and the game has incredibly amazing reviews. They say it's a very deep game that really gets you to think. Say there's some spicy parts here and there, but it seems like most of those are left up to interpretation. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, but, you know, we're just going to play the game. See what it's about. See why all the positive reviews are here. Uh, so first we start here with zero. Okay. And of course it's un unlike with, you know, unlike with life itself, you know, we actually get to choose when to start this. <laughs> I'm already thinking about life and uh, we haven't even begun. So no further ado, let's begin. Whew. All right. Okay. Off to a smooth start so far. I've always been attached to the beginnings of journeys, you know. Uh, I find that usually I'm drawn to like the first in a series of like, we're talking about movies or shows or whatever. First seasons, first movies in a series uh, always seem to be the ones that get me a lot. They, they're just the ones that stick with me. I love a good beginning. All right, let's move forward. Okay. Um, getting right to it then, okay. Whew. All right, uh, you know, you know, um, there is no story without conflict. There's, there's no story without something to stand in the way. So, that's a tough, that's a tough beginning though. Go forward. <laughs> okay, they were not lying about three. <laughs> they were not. <laughs> This is point of story. Just, <laughs> I mean, how do you not expect that? It's just like, <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right, let's move on. I like get... it. Sorry, y'all. Should have figured if they were right about three, they'd be right about four. Good lord, though, did we need that? Okay, where's my mouse? All right, oh gosh, oh gosh, yeah, it's bad. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, well, that's so sweet. I still don't think, I, I don't think that four was necessary, but no, that's, no, that's a really sweet moment. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of makes me think a lot of, uh, a lot of the guts Casca relationship in Berserk. You know, it's, it's like, do, do you really, do you really need to sexualize Casca that much in order to get the story across? It, which is frustrating because the core story about Guts and Casca is just, it's so, it's so sweet and it's just, it, it's more wholesome than you would expect from one of the darkest and most explicit anime, well, not really anime, but most explicit manga in history. I, that's why I prefer the anime is it's much more cleaned up than the manga is. Uh, but yeah, that's, I, I mean, look, moments like this, they, they really do give you a reason to keep going and to want to stay invested in the story. <sighs> this is why people have trust issues. <laughs> this is why people have trust issues. You knew this was coming. 
You knew, you knew, you knew this was coming. I, I can't even do it. Ugh, you... And that's another thing that's really irritating. Because it's like, we all know those people are going through those those things. It's like, you know this whole situation was completely avoidable. Completely avoidable. And you walked right into it on purpose. It's like... I mean, every good story has moments like that, but it's still frustrating when you see it. It's like, it's like Frodo, Frodo trusting Smeagol. It's like, you know this is going to end bad, but at the same time, Smeagol is necessary to push the story forward, to get Frodo and Sam to Mordor. You need Smeagol in order to get there, but it just, it just sucks, because the whole time you're like, you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Freak yeah! Freak yeah! It's about freaking time. Yes! That's how you freaking do it. Ah, so good. Oh no. No, no, no. No! avoidable <laughs> can't say it in one completely avoidable <laughs> completely avoidable <sighs> you know you have a good story when everyone has a character they resonate with and they end up being different characters you don't you don't want a lead character that everyone identifies with that that just says that you put all of your effort into your main character and you put little effort into the rest of them you want you want there to be multiple characters with multiple struggles that you really latch on to and at the same time that's what makes the losses hurt that's what makes the losses hurt <laughs> I want to go forward, and we're closer to the end than the beginning, so might as well move forward. If we're going to go through pain like that, there at least had better be a payoff, and that's well-written and well-deserved. And it's about time, too. And what a... Uh, you know at this point how it's going to end. You know. Like, you know at this point how it's going to end. Because, like, how could, how could it end any other way? It's, it's set up so beautifully. I don't mean to keep going back to the Lord of the Rings, but it's like, you know how it's set up to end. And it's just like, it's so beautiful when it gets there. All right, let's let's close this out. Did they just set that up for another update? Oh my gosh. Holy heck. Holy. I can very confidently say I did not see that coming.
But I mean, it was incredibly well written and very rarely does a story set up well for a sequel. It's very rare that oftentimes the way it happens is a story is set up to be a one and done. And then they're just like, oh, this made money. Let's do another one. No, this was set up very nicely for a sequel. And I'm looking forward to the next installment when it comes. And I really hope that it's it's as much as I expect it to be. I mean, because that was so good. So good. Yeah, I look forward to playing it again. And look, I want to thank you guys for joining me on this journey. You know, it's stories like this that really change us. That really make us into the people that we're meant to become. And so... I hope that y'all will come back for the next part. And until then, I'll see y'all later. And let me know what your favorite part was as well. I think this game needs to live on. Peace out, homies.